tuko katika kitengo cha mwisho na i tell you kitengo cha ilikuwaje na siku yetu ya leo mepata bahati kum hoji dada fulani ambaye anasumbua watu kwenye mitandao she's a nitasema vlogger ama <laughs> <laughs> youtuber Unaitwaje? Ndio umoitwaje nyinyi? Vlogger. Vlogger. Yeah. Anaitwa Mkamburi Chigogo. Yeah. Anatoka Taita na unajua ripoti imetoka hivi juzi ya sasa mm. kwamba katika maeneo haya ya Taita mm. inakuwaje jamani mbona hamzani sana. Watu wazani. I don't know. I don't know. Sikio tatizo diesel coffee. In fact I was talking with my mom kamwambia jamani mm. I think kuna tatizo fulani hapa because hamwezi tu kwa 300 and something. Kwa familia yenu mko ngapi? Um lakini wajua mimi si mtaita 100%. Okay. My mom ndo mtaita afu okay. babangu ni mjibana. Si kama unajua wajibana. Wajibana wajibana. Mwanzo hata ithinga ndo wajulikani kabisa. <laughs> wagunya. Si <laughs> wagunya. <laughs> Wa part of the mijikenda. Eh? Hey, ah, part okay. of the mijikenda. Okay. So kwa familia mamangu wako wengi. Mm-hmm. Wako wengi. Sasa tatizo ni vile watu wana assume atukisikia mtu ni mtaita kila mm. mtu yuko related. Okay. Na vile hapo ndo tatizo linatokea. Lakini sijui we... kama nyinyi kwa familia mama me, mama ni mtoto kitaita amempatia hey. baba watoto wangapi? Amempatia watoto watano. Ah. Eh. Yeah. Yeye ndo amechangia kwa ile 300. <laughs> kidogo ama wengi tano nyingi bwana wana i think tatizo ni pombe mimi okay. siju okay i don't know staki kwa kwa zungumzia you got it right by yeah. the way watu kutoka kabila la taita wanapenda sana chuo they are fanatics of things eh yeah Yaani kama yeye ameokoka basi ameokoka jamani utasinywa ah, basi ni bwana okay. Jesus Kasu until the end kama oh. naye ni mwachofi eh. mwachofi mpaka mwisho sasa yani, kina mwachofi ndo wengi wanaitwa mlevi mbwa <laughs> <laughs> kama yeah. ni mlevi ni mlevi mbwa it's too much ako tu hapo maana <laughs> anyway, karibu sana kwenye kipindi. Uh, leo katika kitengo cha ilikuwaje nitakuwa na ama niko naye Mkamburi Chigogo ambaye ni vlogger. Leo unajua sijawahi kabisa mm. siku moja kuwa na mtu um I mean a blogger. Mm. Uh, kina Robert Alai, the mm-hmm. kundi of this world. Mm. Lakini leo nilisema tu why not? Let me talk to Mkamburi niambie tu ilikuwaje ulifika hapa ukaamua kwamba this is your life unaona mm. maisha ya Diamond unaona maisha ya wanasiasa mm. na kuzungumzia katika mitandao in a very short while hapo um, awali ulikuwa unafanya nini yani kidogo tu uh, maisha ya kwako mm. okay na je ina pesa unajua siku hizi tunasema mm. pesa ipo katika mitandao are you making a living through social media safi msikilizaji una swali nambari yangu sms ni 22494 leo tunacheza kileo Okay. Adma Sawa Japan Twitter handle yangu Insta Facebook. Um, unaweza kumtafuta pia Mkamburi kwenye mitandao uweze kumjua hakika uh, ni nani. Mkamburi Chigogo, Chigogo. @mkamburi chigogo. Uone kazi anayoifanya kwenye kwenye mitandao. Mchokozi sana. Hata <laughs> nashindwa inakuwaje aje nifanyie story yangu. <laughs> This chick anazanga hivyo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> kwa mtu ambaye kwa safari ya kwanza nakusikiliza, mm-hmm. Mkamburi Chigogo ni nani? Mkamburi Chigogo is just a very simple person. Mm-hmm. Um, I can say ni mtu tu ambaye anapenda kusema ukweli mm-hmm. a bit too much. Alafu uh, ni mtu ambaye um, ameingilia masuala ya vlogging sio juzi mm-hmm. ama jana okay. kitambo. Mm-hmm. Um, lakini uh, vile tunavyosema kwamba timing kwa Kiingereza timing is everything. Okay. Kwa sababu mimi mambo ya kufanya na vlogging kama watu waelewi ni bloggers yao ni kuandika okay. mtu ana type afu unasoma story Dio. vlogging ni unachukua kamera afu unajirecord ukiongea video, video. Okay. Hey. sasa kitu ambacho pengine unge type kama ni kwa website ama mm. mahali wewe mm. unakiandika pale mm. so hiyo ndio vlogging sasa um, i can just say kwamba so zile video mm. unazitengeneza unatengeneza kwa Um, content yako ina mm. inaegemea ina ama inakwenda kwa upande gani okay. ni political ni mambo ya entertainment ni maisha tu generally okay nikianza um mwanzo nilianza nilingoja nikupatie tu historia kidogo nilianza 2014 mm-hmm. nikaanza kuweka video youtube mm-hmm. lakini pale nilikuwa sijajua nataka kufanya nini exactly kwa hivyo ilikuwa bado mambo ya entertainment mm-hmm. alafu pole pole 2016 nikaa nimesema kwamba mimi by the time nafika 2018 2019 mm-hmm. nika una plan like najua i'll be a big deal na nilikuwa mm-hmm. nishapanga nishakakulate najua kwamba sasa hivi naanza hapa lakini eventually hata um, in fact it was 2014 niliandika hicho kitu kwenye facebook yangu mm-hmm. nikamwambia watu ngoja siku moja i'll be telling my own story in my own way sasa so, um, 
nikaan me focus on everything and then i realized hiyo sio brand ujengi brand ukiwa kila mahali mm. so i narrowed it down nikasema kwamba nitakuwa nafanya mambo ya entertainment hiyo mm-hmm. ndo core business yangu kwa hiyo okay. nasema kwamba mimi entertainment journalist alafu tena mambo mengine ya social political current mm-hmm. affairs okay. pia kidogo utapata pale lakini okay. sana sana ni entertainment, entertainment. Yeah. okay so hapo wale umesema kwamba uliingia lakini ulikuwa unafanya Mm. you'll be an entertainment journalist. Yes. Ni kitu umesomea pengine uh, wana habari? No. Actually sijasomea wana habari mm-hmm. lakini uh, last year na free 2017 mm-hmm. ama last year kwa no last year kwa 2018. Mm-hmm. 2017 nilikuwa nataka nirege school nende nikafanye and it's still in the pipeline lakini mm-hmm. sija degree yangu na hata um, any other course ambayo nimefanya has nothing to do with journalism. Umesomea nini? Nimesomea mambo ya biashara. So mimi I can comfortably say ni mambo ya hospitality and leisure management. Okay. Yeah. So hiyo ndo my core business. Hata okay. kikiumana huku I still have <laughs> the business brains ya kufanya kitu kingine apart okay. from what I'm doing currently. Nikikuangalia ni kwa karibu ni kwamba hiyo uh-huh. lipstick ikae ya bei ndogo. Ah! <laughs> wewe wewe kikaya bei ndogo yani unajua tena squeeze zinaitwa nini nyusi nyusi pia tena hii quality yako ikae ile ndogo oh my god oh my god nikope this is nikope nyusi ni this is nikope oh sorry hizi kope zikaiza bei ndogo yani jinsi ulivyo yani ni kwamba kupitia kitu unachofanya kwa mtandao kinakupatia hela okay kweli ni kweli kwa sababu mimi nimeacha kufanya nili, nilitoka kwa mainstream employment 2017. Oh really? Nilijiondoa tu mwenyewe tulikuwa bila kosana na whoever had employed me kama vile tu. Ilikuwa tumeomba social media nilikuwa nafanya social media handling, mm. digital marketing kwenye nini, kampuni tu. Kwenye kampuni. Okay. Na alikuwa alipi vibaya. Okay. But I just realized no, alikuwa by the way pesa ilikuwa sio mbaya. Mm. Lakini nikakaa nikajiambia if I'm doing this thing for someone else it means I can do this thing for myself. Mm. And you know what they say? Mm-hmm. You can never be paid your worth. Yeah, you can never. It's mm. true. Yeah. So nikaangalia afu nikajiuliza nikitoka sasa hivi nitatese mm-hmm. kama nini lakini I was ready. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu uh, mtu ambaye anaingia hata mtu yote ambaye ananisikiza sasa hivi unataka kuingia kwa mambo ya digital marketing, sijui social media nini. Hakuna pesa za haraka lazima ujenge brand yako mpaka pesa zianze kuingia. Okay. So ni kitu you must be very very patient. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kama mimi nakumbuka last year time, nilianza kuweka content yangu Instagram last year mm-hmm. um, September mm-hmm. na nilikuwa na followers elfu kumi. Okay. So mpaka sasa hivi I have built them pole 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 tota sina haraka mm-hmm. ndio tumefika mahali ambapo tumefika sijui kama ni, I think it's 60,000. Okay. Lakini mtu asikudanganye Masai mm. you're just going to get into digital space alafu pesa zinamwagika okay. tu hivi hivi okay. hapana. Imekuchukua ili kuchukua muda gani ndio uanze kupata angalau kazi pesa social media. So ile red card yangu nikianza mm. nilikuwa na charge pesa fulani mm-hmm. alafu sasa hivi the more I'm increasing my followers mm-hmm. so hela inaendelea ikifanya nini mm-hmm. ikipanda rate card inaendelea ikibadilika jamani dadangu atadala njaa <laughs> follow her please at mkamburi chigogo <laughs> Okay. So unajua mara nyingi uh-huh. uh, vloggers bloggers uh-huh. anapokwenda katika mtandao mm-hmm. mostly they have very mean things to say. It is true. It's true. It's why, very true. Why that attitude? Unajua una, unajua sasa kama mimi whatever it is I do. Mwanzo I like telling people see no buy na mtu. Mm. Kitu cha kwanza like tuelewane hapo. Disclaimer. Hapo. This a, that's a disclaimer I always give. Kwamba mimi page yangu sina uadui, sina marafiki na pia sina ma godfather wala ma godmother. Kwa hivyo hata kama mimi nakujua na kuna story lazima nizungumzie nitaizungumzia. Lakini it is not out of bad faith. Kwanza in fact I would like wa Kenya ni tuweze kuangalia kile kitu ambacho watu wanafanya na mseme asante kwa sababu mnatupatia PR. Mm. Sasa wewe imagine wewe uko pale alafu no one is talking about you. Wewe sasa utakuwa celebrity wa aina gani kama siku inapita hatujamzungumzia Diamond. Una free brand yake ingekuwa imefika mahali ambapo imefika sasa hivi. Diamond's brand imejengwa out of controversy and hard work. Lakini mwenyewe anakupa story. Exactly. Yeye yeah, mwenyewe anatoa content. Anatoa content yeah. na pia Mwenye is very talented. Yeah. Sasa hicho ndo kitu hapa Kenya we are lacking. Mm-hmm. Na mimi I appreciated the gap in this industry. Nikasema because I can do this thing, I'm very bold. Kwanza in fact, my segment inaitwa the report card. Yeah. Na na na, na, na my <laughs> my mission statement ni bold and apologetic and controversial. Personal view. Perso- 100% views 
and opinions are 100% my own. So, kitu ambacho tunaongelea pale kama I'll have to say for myself. At times it's usually not the most um tuseme watu watasema oh you've been very negative you've been this like in Japan. Apana. It, it has to be done in that way because that's my way of doing things. Okay. That's the Mkamburi Chigogo way of doing things. Mm. And then eventually, kama wewe ni mtu mbaya your walk na unajua ni kitu gani ile page itakupatia, mm-hmm. upasi wata kukomplain. Lakini, kama you are very sensitive, then I, I don't think that's your page. Okay. Yeah. Usha why andika story um, Mkamburi mm-hmm. kwenye mtandao, ikaenda haywire. I yani think, ukapata uh, backlash mbaya zaidi every day every day okay how do you handle yeah. that emotionally um, imagine i don't care like if you ask anyone who knows me knows me mm-hmm. people will tell you it takes vitu kidogo sana ndo yani very few things ik me na kitu kitanisumbua ni kama you getting in the way of my income unachezea pesa zangu na pengine unachezea familia yangu mm-hmm. peke yake lakini kitu ati nimesema alafu yeah okay. and then watu wakuja kuni hata angalia ile comment section yangu sasa hivi inawaka every yani hakuna video nita post and everyone would just be like wow that is true that very few videos are like that mm-hmm. most of them ni watu wanakuja matusi matusi matu yani mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. normal to me na si okay, any effect at no point ushawahi kuweka chini never okay. i'm telling you, I, I, i even think ile siku nikiwa facebook it mm. was worse YouTube, youtube is the worst youtube is the worst mm. instagram is a bit it's a bit better okay. you can handle the punches okay. but youtube na facebook kwa sababu facebook iko na watu wengi sana mm. ni community ya watu wengi mm. so kuna time nakumbuka nilipostigi comment hata ilikuwa si video comment na nikapata 1.7 million comments majority of them ilikuwa matusi na hiyo time nilikuwa bado sijaanza hata kutengeza pesa from, okay. from 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 that thing and then I realized oh my god do you know what I actually have a following and na interaction yangu is real time okay. so mm, i don't know i'm just telling people ukitaka kuingia hii kazi lazima pia uko na very tough ngumu. skin okay. it has to be okay. part of the package ni story yeah. gani ushawahi fanya kwa kweli na kufurahisha yani kando na mm. pesa mm-hmm. to date you're like oh that was a that story was a yeah, good one yeah story well told um I think it's a mo- it's the most recent story that I did. Yeah, Diamond Vlalienda Media Media Tour. Mm. I think that was the, that, that has to be one of my best stories because how I analyzed it I was mm. like wow. Akili yangu pia si changa. Mm. You know, I'm very critical. So Vlalienda Media Tour yeah. Wasafi alafu kauliza about harmonize mm. and 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 Ali Kiba mm-hmm. and he gave a very diplomatic answer but reading in between the lines mm. it was him throwing very subtle shade mm. without taking away from his actual festival. Okay. And how I broke it down made so much sense I was like oh my god mkamburi yes yeah, ingine and yeah, you 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 deserve a pat on the back. Okay. Mm. Eh, hey, mm. nimejisikia sana. <laughs> hey, I need your 2% confidence. Like for your story pole of Raya, I'm like wow. wow. Nice. Mm, yeah. your story mena vizuri. Maisha yako ilikuwa vipi uh, utotoni because napenda sana confidence yako mm-hmm. eh. So pengine kuna mzazi sasa hivi anasikiliza kipindi na pengine na mm. ana shut down dream ya mtoto wake kuwa mm. katika mtandao. Mm-hmm. I, maisha yako ilikuwa vipi utotoni? Um honestly I think I was a very confident but at the same yani sijabadilika. Mm. I was very confident but at the same time very shy. Okay. So mimi hata kwa environment ya watu wengi I'm very reserved. Utanipata tinaongea unless nakujua vizuri. Mm. Mm. I'm usually very quiet and very reserved. Lakini ikifika ni wakati wa um, kujipeleka na kimbele mbele cha kujisukuma mm. na shukuru Mungu mean, I have Unacho, that thing eh? I have I'm very aggressive mm-hmm. so um, mambo ya social media na nini na nini in fact I have to um, give a very huge shout out to my dad kwa mm. my dad in fact ndo yeye amenipatia mtaji like mkubwa sana mm. he's given me my yes, yani. na capital mm. ningemwambia nataka kununua hii hii gilafu nachukua na mwambia nitakurudishia mm. ningemwambia na nataka kuchukua hii yeah, bado sijaanza kurudisha lakini eventually <laughs> <laughs> una matumaini kama utarudisha kwamba i have to pay him back yeah, cuz yeah. he, he he's been supportive mm. very very supportive hata kama hawaelewi even my mom i okay. think my entire family everyone has been supportive okay. sasa kitu naweza kumwambia mzazi ambaye anasikiza just let let your children be Mm. Kwa sababu you never know maybe forte yake kubwa hata si masomo. Kodi yako nyumba unalipa kupitia kazi hii. Mm. 
chakula chako e, kila kitu yani kitu chochote unachotaka kila kitu hizo kope pia ni kope ni hiyo Lips, lipstick okay. lip gloss okay. ni hiyo okay. nini everything kwa hivyo ni kitu ambacho kinaleta chakula mezani Ki, na kinaleta kuna swali hapa uh-huh. kutoka kwa noti raosha na ulizaje uh-huh. masawe naomba umuulize chi chi unaita oh okay yes, chigo ben, mkamburi chigo no, no, okay mkamburi chigo kwa insta i mean kwa, uh, twitter. kwa twitter uh-huh. nani ambayo wa mlipa uh-huh. na yu mlipa kivipi okay. ata mie okay. naomba kuwa blogger ama vloga okay. kimtandao na ninashindwa kujua nani atakuwa akinilipa right. anaitwa noti raosha haya kitu naweza kumwambia ni very simple have your brand in check unajua kuwa na product mm. kwa sababu unajua hii ni kama tuko dukani sasa kama mtu anaingia kwa supermarket alafu haoni kitu cha kununua Ndiyo. atanunua nini mm-hmm. so have your product in check alafu number two, jua ni kitu kipi unataka ku specialize nacho. Sasa kama mimi specialty yangu ni entertainment, entertainment journalism na commentary. Mm-hmm. Mimi by the way nataka kutoa disclaimer huwa sipiki chai. Okay. In fact I usually tell guys I do not give tea on my page. I brew entertainment henny. Okay. To mean kitu kimefanyika sasa mimi naenda kuweka nini? My own twist. Mm-hmm. So out of that mtu ambaye pengine we un, uko na kampuni ya nyele mm-hmm. na umeniona and you're like oh because this girl is being watched naweza kutaka kumsponsor kum na nyele watu waje wa ni advertise na yeye. Okay. So ile product yako ndo ita determine the type of clients you want to attract. Okay. in the long run. Okay. Hey. So umeuza nini kwenye page yako sana sana? Sana sana huwa nauza um, nauza kwanza tuko na kampuni niko na kampuni yangu mm-hmm. mimi na dadangu. So tunauza there is some facial product that we have. Okay. Tuna use ya pale. Alafu okay. um, most of my clients actually kuna client wangu mmoja wa hair products sana mm-hmm. dino natural hair kwa sababu nywele zangu ni natural so hapo okay. pia niko naye alafu watu wa events especially in this 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 season saivi okay. clients wengi sana wanataka ku market events zao okay. so wananifuata na jamani we we have this we need you to do a video and mm. just yeah make it happen okay. so those ones currently na pia watu wa makeup Okay. Eh, kwa sababu kama sasa hivi kuna kampuni moja ya Nigeria they are coming to they've come to Kenya mm-hmm. so yeah walitumwa wakasema tutafanya tutataka fanya partnership na wewe okay. so wow. it's thing yeah. so kwa kweli inalipa eh ukweli true story mda. hakuna true kazi nyingine unafanya hii ndio kazi unayofanya hii tu this is my main job na ukweli ni kwamba i think i have put in a lot of money kwa sababu lazima ukitaka ikuwe biashara you have to invest. Hakuna mtu mtu asikwambie kitu ati sijui it's just jokes it's what <coughs> ni kule ku I have mastered the art such mm. that mtu akiangalia unasema ah wewe naye tafuta kazi mm. your idol who mm. you unachokifanya lakini kikweli mimi najua i know what i'm doing okay. right? and it's a brand that itadumu mpaka kieleweke. Okay. Kama una swali 0204445975 kwa nambari yangu ya simu niko naye vlogger Mkamburi Chigogo leo akiweza kutuelezea maisha ya vlogger inakuwaje. Nikiangalia page yako zaidi mkaburi mm-hmm. kwenye Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, story zako nyingi huwa ni za kitanzania. Uh-huh. Content nyingi kutoka Tanzania mm-hmm. lakini entertainment. Ina maana gani kwamba hapa Kenya uh, kuna watu ama inakuwaje? But hold on to that. Okay. Unakuja kujibu acha tushike maswali. Uh-huh. Radio Jambo happy na sikio mjini Mombasa. Good morning. <coughs> Afternoon. Samani. Ehe, niambie. Hello. Swali lako tafadhali happiness. Nataka kumsalimia mkaburi. Ehe, uh-huh. nimesalimika. Ai. Mpanguri mana. Manato. Eh. Koko mana. Manato hawai sasa. Ehe. Nauliza kwa miaka unajiona wapi kwa miaka mitano hivi? Maana yake napenda vile unavyoongea. Ehe. Uh-huh. Alafu ni yani naona kuna mtu mwingine ambaye mbele utakuwa mtu mwingine ambaye wa maana. Oh, chapcha sana wandu. Ehe. Uh-huh. Ah, chapcha. <laughs> Niweshukuru. Okay, ah, ya bye. Asante. Unajua wataita na nyimbo uh-huh. kidogo sana na nilikuwa nasema juzi. <laughs> kuna charoni ni vwasi sasa umesema chapcha nikakumbuka hiyo chapcha bwana chapcha bwana kumbe ni mimi oh my god ni nyingi ni nyingi yes masawe mambo vipi bora sana salamia mgeni wako hapo hivyo nashukuru nimemmsikia hapo swali Eh sasa wife yangu ameuliza hivi ati mzake yeye ati wafanye mambo ya sijui mambo ya kusema ati make up make up ni nini <laughs> Eh <Hey>, shwali <laughs> shwali <laughs> Shwali. <laughs> Anaulizaje Rogers? Mimi sijamuelewa. Aketi angoje matokeo ya Kibra. Sijamuelewa <laughs> <laughs> Rogers jamani. <laughs> anyway, na, 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 uh-huh. na swali langu uh-huh. kwamba 
content yako kubwa mm. natoka ni Tanzania, Tanzania. Mm, ina maana gani kwa ni Kenya hapa jamani akina mad trucks hawana story content good enough oh, oh. for you to put on your page honestly uh-huh. um kusema kweli i am working extra extra hard kwa sababu at some point mm. majority of the people who are following me walikuwa wametoka Tanzania kweli eh na, na nafikiri kwa sababu pia mimi naongea Kiswahili mm-hmm. alafu pia napost sana zile story zao na ni kitu tutafika eventually tutafika mm. if Kenya is open to having this entertainment stories being talked about mm. tutafika lakini kwa sasa bado tuko chini sana in terms of content in terms of content especially entertainment content unajua hapa siasa ndo it's our biggest biggest content so kama wewe si mwana siasa uongelee siasa you're not you know doing anything about politics then unakuwa irrelevant unataka mm. kama kina nyakundi akina alai all of them wanajaribu walijaribu afrika afrika mahali they had to concentrate on politics because it, i think it was bringing in more money yeah. and people check for politics more than more they than do the, for, for entertainment. entertainment entertainment ni kitu cha upuzi hapa kenya okay. watu watu value sana mm, mm-hmm. so kule kwa wenzetu tukivuka boda mm. watu tanzania wanapenda wanapenda sana mm. entertainment and mm-hmm. it's easier for you to to be able to get stories from down there okay. lakini eventually na, na imani kwamba tutabadilisha tutafika. na tutafika na story zetu ziweza kuwa kubwa okay. kama za wa Tanzania, wa South Africa na wa Nigeria. Eh hey, lakini kule jamani. Mm. Wow. Na watu kule wanatengeza pesa, wanatengeza pesa zaidi ya yeah, just yeah. from doing this kind of things that okay, we are doing. Okay. Yeah. Happiness sana kuuliza miaka tano kutoka sasa unajiona wapi? Eh najiona hata miaka tano mbali. Najiona mm. mbali sana mbali sana. Kusema nakwambia mm. I started planning this thing in 2014. Na um, already nisha register kampuni kuna kampuni kubwa and uh, what I'm doing so whatever I'm doing is just a sub what can we say it's, it's a sublet of the main company na okay. hiyo kampuni yangu it's just going to deal with digital marketing maswala ya PR tutakuwa tuna provide solutions kama wapengine unataka kiki unajua watu wengi hawaoni kama ati hiyo ni kazi unaweza kufanya yeah, yeah. lakini kuna mtu akona brand nzuri lakini brand ime mark time how okay. you how do i move my brand from just this To, to people talking about me until I'm famous until mm. natengeza pesa watu wengi wajui so hiyo mm. ndo kitu kampuni yangu itakuwa inaleta hiyo solution okay. yes are you dating yes i am okay mm eh wambea wewe wambea wangu wa instagram sasa hivi kwa jamani mbona hujampost maana yake tuna post zako nyingi uh. mpost hata sisi tu comment hata nyinyi mcomment sawa <laughs> oh. ngoja tuta, tuta, tutaona tutaona kama kuna mtu pengine anaweza kumpost on my behalf okay. then huyo mtu i'll give that person props Ni like mtu ambaye pia yuko kwa mitandao no. okay hayuko he's just a normal like just myself he's Luxana a normal na person tulikuta na kwenye mall okay yeah akaambia akaanambia wewe ulitwaje anjoa hapa ulitwaje antia ma wewe no hakusema antia ma wewe wewe ni unashangaa watu ambao wanakutana kwenye barabara unasimamishwa unasimama siku hizi kwanza vile Nairobi ni mbaya unaweza changaa usalimiwa alafu uchanganyikiwe fahamu no. so seriously uli alikusimamisha kwenye mall kwenye this is yeah high profile mall like okay. it was not just one of those weird ones okay. lakini i assumed him afu mkaendelea kutembea and then uh. akanifata mm-hmm. sasa ile confidence ya kunifata ndio yes. i was like wow this is rare unajua watu squeeze wafuatanaji yeah honestly men okay. nowadays are lazy wanaume <laughs> Wao <laughs> umesquizi mwa wamekuwa vivu okay. yani mtu anataka tu kwa DM tu hi 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 wajua so uh, it doesn't make sense na sitawai kunaona hapo kuna mtu anasema ati ni post mtangoja eh usubiri kidogo mm-hmm. so akakufuata yeye yeah, akanifuata and uh-huh. we talked na nikamwambia by the way if you overcall sababu mimi sipendi watu waku overcall mm-hmm. overtax you overdoing mm-hmm. una overdo nikamwambia ukifanya hivyo nitaku block okay akasema sawa and he didn't even call me mm-hmm. like for i think three days ulimpatia namba yako immediately eh nikam eh hapo okay. hapo alafu after nimemuuliza kuna kitu akanijibu and it made sense to me and i was like okay this looks like someone nilikuwa hata sifikiria ti honestly i thought nitafika nyumbani na nitam block mm-hmm. that was like my initial thought process okay. and then yeah he, he called and After some time tukao tunaongea tukakutana hivyo mm. hivyo mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. yeah steady progress uh, miaka mingapi ama miezi mingapi pamoja no bado haijafika uh, let me not say that haijafika <laughs> mwaka haija no haijafika mwaka mshamaliza mwaka sitaki uh, kusema okay but it's there lakini unaona imechukua muda kidogo eh yes it's okay. work it's ni mtu ambaye kidogo ume, umemjua vizuri eh hey. Okay. Exactly. okay what exactly. uh, what having babies with <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> 
wow someone here wow masawe what you coming for my job wow what having babies with i don't know honestly mm. I, i i don't know i think mambo mengine ni mungu anapanga okay yeah. lakini unaona ni mtu ambaye kwa kweli he's responsible yes 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 okay. yes lakini you know kitu gani kinakuudhi sana na wanaume wa kenya wa kenya yeah Kenyan men. Yes. Oh my god, if I start I swear the list is so long. I, Number I, one, I, pen, I'll just pen, roll it. I'll roll it all out. Ni sana kwanza umesema wanaume wa Kenya wavivu. Ni wavivu, ni wavivu alafu wengi wao. Majority eh? Wengi wao ni kupe. <laughs> the, the reality is sasa hivi kumtegemea nataka kumtegemea na, na unajua the Kenyan woman is very independent mm. na mwanamke wa Kenya sasa hivi anatengeza pesa okay. na sieti kwa sababu analipwa vizuri mm. but we are very ambitious as okay. Kenyan women yeah, yeah. so wanaume bahati mbaya wameshindwa ku catch up okay. sasa ni mtu tu aketi angalia afro cinema sijui anywe majuice kwa nyumba alafu wewe kama deal alafu pate after pate after pate after okay. pate after on your bill okay. la kama so unasema uvivu wanaume wa Kenya kwamba ni wavivu lazy, wengi na ni kupe anataka kumtegemea mwanamke alafu uh-huh. most of them uh-huh. are ambitiously lazy utasikia mtu <laughs> anakuambia mimi nataka niwe na michepuko sijui mingapi kama michepuko kumi. na mtu mwenye hana pesa za ku maintain michepuko kumi. hata mke wake mwenye anamshinda okay so i, I don't know I, I, ambitiously lazy ambitiously lazy na hiyo ube sugar coat eh? those are Ken- kenyan oh my god kenyan when i am not even sorry for saying that number four, mm-hmm. the biggest problem with kenyans ni kenyan ha- men kenyan men uh-huh. how are you we Yeah. hawajui ku, ku approach wanawake unajua kwa nini nigerians are stealing the kenyan women But currently me, you approached in a mall you can't box but then who's, who said it's a kenyan Oh 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 please uh, please, please please I do. Oh okay. To, uh, my brother. Uh, um, oh, no and uh, no and he's, he's not necessarily my brother but he's not Kenyan. Okay. But I'm saying tazana napatia an example ya Nigeria why mm. they are winning. Kwa sababu Nigeria tuna dem kama wewe akwambie oh my god my sister there's something about you. Ah, I is those size. You're very beautiful. But they're con men. They, they okay, are. Hulka, they not are, all of them. But most of them sasa hapo ndo wa Kenya wanashindiwa. Mkenya atakuona wewe ni mrembo anakuambia tu eh nyebe yuko poa. In other words you're saying Kenyan men are not romantic. They are not. Na hawajui hawana ile lugha ya kufines madem. Yaani mimi mm. si I don't know where the, the problem is. Lakini bana kwanga eh bana kwanga poa. Eh oh ma 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 sawa na kwanga poa sana by the way. And romantic. Yaani hizo ma hizo matizo yako. Number 5 Kenyan men. Ah. Leo tunachafua. Kenya number five, yes. and I think this is the most irritating irritating thing uh-huh. kwa wanaume wa Kenya. Uh-huh. The fact the fact that most of them especially how wanaume ambao sasa hivi wako 30 35 mm-hmm. eh, late 20s most of them mm-hmm. ni wale mababa. Pole baba, sorry baba, un, mtu bado uko miaka 35 bado uko nyumbani. Unajua mm. you still living at home you in no hurry alafu wengi wao ni wale wakula kwanza mwanamume akula chips Kenya hapa <laughs> Kenya my god my god Kenyan men love Unataka fries Unataka mwanamume akula manangu na kuku kienyeji <laughs> Wanaume wa Kenya kama mnanisikiza jamani wanaume wa Kenya chenini na chips chips <laughs> na kuku pono <laughs> I love you you tell me please tell me performance yao mwanaume inafika wapi Niambie wewe mwanamume akula chips mwanamume akula chips na mwanamume mwingine unapatana naye huko sijui anakula hivi vitu sijui what egusi okay. sijui papa yes. mrenda wewe uniambie can you compete Ngumu. you cannot kwanza Nairobi Nairobi has wooses unapata watu wameketi kwa stool ni msewa you guy you guy my guy but are we are we fikin are we chopping like a trip really dude eating fries eh. and fanta soda ile soda Oi, ya fanta we, wacha kuharibu brand Akuna, no no hiyo soda mimi sina shida nayo but i'm just saying it comes in, inakuja kama package it, eh? it, 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 it comes package na chipo okay. na na so wanaume wanaume wa Kenya shida yao ni kwamba ah. ni wavivu ni wakupi ambitiously lazy and romantic wanaume wanaume wa Kenya wanakula chips kimbia <laughs> kwani ukiona wallahi if you see your man's eating fries <laughs> Uwe mwambie tu baba asante hey. lakini i don't i don't think tutapeleka na mahali Ngumwe. tafuta mwanamume na kula sima papa na mrenda you'll be happy thank me later hey, jamani papa rufu ya papa jamani raya papa nchumvi lakini wala hiyo leo anakuambia watakwambia kwamba hapa i was i'm very happy oh god lakini chips chipo hey, jamani chipo 
Wa hapo una mwanaume. I tell you. Una mtu. Anaitwa <laughs> Mkamburi Chigogo. Vlog nimeweza kuwa naendelea katika ile kuaje. We had a good time. Uh, thank good you time. for coming. Thank Mkamburi. you for having me. Maneno kwa mwisho kwa mtu ambaye jamani ameweka bidii yake sana katika mtandao na bado jamani ajianza kupokea hela. Aendelee kuvumilia mm-hmm. na aji brand. Kwa sababu cha msingi ni branding. Branding. Mm-hmm. Once you brand yourself na ufocus kwa sababu mimi sasa hivi kuna vitu vingi sana that that, that that they're trying to get my attention my side show lakini like, mimi nakwambia i'm not about side i'm just about the main show mm. so gi brand have your product in check na eventually pole pole kwa sababu bado Kenya tuko nyuma and we are still struggling pesa mm. zitaanza kuingia lakini mm. not at the rate ambayo maybe we expect it na unaona kama Tanzania they're not even been paid properly mm. lakini huku Kenya we have the potential of giving a rate card hata mm. kwa siku you can make let's say 20k yeah. or 30k yeah. from just one promotion like this. Okay. So if your brand is good, you'll make money. Kama mm. brand yako pia ni kitoto toto, utaishi hapo. You have good content but you're not making anything from it. Okay. Uh, all the best. Thank Follow you. my sister. Thank uh, you. Kwa Instagram at mkamburi chigogo. Okay. Ndipo anapotoa pesa za kununua kope jamani. Nisaidieni. <laughs> na lenses. <laughs> Nakwambia na wasema ni za one month hazel eyes. So seriously, girl go to look good man. <laughs> Safi tuonane kesho majaliwa Mwenyezi Mungu.